Hi, thank you for watching this video. I'm going to share with you the easiest ways on how to get rid of Frenchie's tear stains. So let us discuss what causes French tears marks on their faces and paws. What causes it to happen? First off, you might have noticed that your puppy Frenchies do not produce tears during the early months of their lives, but as they grow older, it becomes more apparent as tear stains on both their paws and eyes, particularly in French Bulldogs of the White Off color breed. According to Canine Health articles upon reading facts on dogs' health issues, the reason why dogs leave stains on their faces and paws is due to the RBCs are known as red blood cells in their body, which have a shelf life. Red blood cells normally leave puppies after 4 months or 120 days due to bone marrow maturity. As the bone marrow in your dogs matures, a porphyrin-like residue is left behind. This is necessary for hemoglobin to function. It is a red protein that moves oxygen throughout the blood. Because of this, after passing through your dog's body, when it is extracted from your dog saliva, in particular a bulldog saliva in tears, that is why it causes their skin to turn red after licking their paws and their tears leave a mark on their cheeks. So when does this reddish coloration appear? You must be aware that the light sensitive iron molecule porphyrin, which stays in your dog's body, becomes reddish when exposed to sunlight. Additionally, Dogs tend to lick their paws when they need to groom themselves or when they feel anxious, allergic, or bored. When you leave them at home and come back, you also find that they are whining more. These French Bulldogs are extremely devoted pets who frequently demand attention from their owners. They became emotional as a result which made them shed tears more and lick their paws. How can you prevent the stains on your dogs? When they enter your home from outdoors, you should always examine their paws to make sure they are clean because they can bring parasites in from the outside. Additionally, if your dog comes into contact with ticks from nearby neighbors' dogs, scratching their eyes, paws, and bodies will only worsen. To effectively remove the stains from your dog, you must first clean the area and your dog's nails thoroughly if you want to maintain your dog's skin healthy. This must always be your top priority. Other than purchasing tear stain drops from a pet store, if the owner is neglectful in looking after their dog and its surroundings, there is no purpose in buying it as this will become pointless. When dogs are clean on the outside, their inside health won't be affected as much. Dogs typically run and scratch their paws on the ground and also scratch themselves to relieve the itch. Therefore, it's important to start keeping an eye on outside factors that could have an impact both on you and your dogs. So what do I suggest for removing dog stains? I'm just sharing some information I read online regarding some people that use peroxide, which I would not recommend. Some people use this to clean their dog stains. You should be aware that if your dog ingests this, it will make them vomit. You must know that hydrogen peroxide could be only useful if you can get your dog to a vet clinic in time and it has taken something really dangerous such as rat poison. A skilled vet can use hydrogen peroxide to eliminate the toxin from the dog's body. However, this is only something that professionals should handle. Keep in mind that cleaning your dog stains using this is not worth risking your dog's life for. I am sure there is a best alternative to remove tear stains from your dogs. Always put your dog's safety first. If you don't have time to see a doctor, you may always join a dog community and ask for advice or ideas, as it is likely that it has occurred to their dog as well. You can always satisfy yourself by doing your own research and reading. For me, I used coconut oil as an alternative because it is safe to lick by my dog. Additionally, it has a pleasant smell. Your dog won't be harmed by this. Simply dab a soft cotton ball with a small amount of oil and rub the area of your dog with the most stains. Do it consistently if you want to see the desired result. Additionally, bear in mind that you must put your dog in a neck collar to prevent them from reaching the area you treated. 
if you clean them with anything that is unsafe for them to leak. In this situation, I put a collar on him because he has a habit of licking his paw. I hope you have learned something about a safe alternative to effectively remove your dog's scents from watching this again. Thank you and see you in my next video.